Hey guys, this is Sandeep Sky. Today we are going to install Android emulator on Windows 10 or 11 without Android Studio. So let's get started. So first open your web browser and search for command line tools. Now go to the link from developer.android.com. Go to download. Scroll down and you will see command line tools only. Now download for your platform accept the license term now while it is downloading go to another tab and search for intel haxm if you are using intel cpu if you are using amd cpu you do not need to follow this step now go to the link from the github and go to releases and download the haxm for your platform Now, once you have done that, close your web browser and open your file manager and go to your downloads directory. Now, extract the command line tools and HAXM as well. Now, install HAXM using this silent install. Right click on it and select run as administrator. Now, after that, copy the CMD line tools go to your c drive and create a new folder you can name this folder anything you want i'm going to name it android sdk now go into that folder and paste there now go inside the cmd line tools folder now create a new folder named latest now copy everything into the latest folder now after that we need to set some path variables so go to windows search and type environment variables now go to environment variables now click on new now type android underscore stk underscore root and paste this path where you have created the stk folder so mine is c slash android stk so copy this and paste it right here now after that you need to add the path for cmd line tools platform tools and emulator as well so copy this path go to the path and click on edit now add these paths Now after you have added these paths, close the environment variable. Now open CMD. Now first we need to accept the license for SDK manager. So type this command. Now type Y for every license. After that we need to list the system images for android so type sdk manager dash test list now you'll see the bunch of images but i'm going to install the android dash 34 version which is one step below the latest one at the moment you can also install android dash 35 if you want so you need to type this command to install the android system image
so after that we need to install the platform tools and emulator as well so use this command After that, we need to install the Android platform. Now finally, we need to install the build tools. And if you are using Android Dash 35, then make sure to replace the 34 with 35. And I will leave all the links in the description box below. So, and after that, we need to create a emulator using the AVD Manager command. So just copy this command and paste it. Now, we are using the name Pixel. You can specify any name if you want and make sure that this system images is correct same as which we just installed earlier so if we are using android 35 then make sure to replace 34 with 35 and i'm also specifying a device so i'm using a pixel 6 you can use any device supported now after that it will create this device now if you want to use emulator first close everything now open windows search and type turn windows features on or off and make sure to check this windows hypervisor platform and click on ok and you need to restart your computer first after that and after that you can open command prompt again and type emulator dash avd and your emulator name mine was pixel so if you enter this command it will open your android emulator so as you can see this is my android emulator so if you are using the emulator for the first time then it may take a while to boot up So that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you